Hi, this is Dennis with Cybercraft. Today we're gonna to be going through another Security Plus PBQ. Uh, this one my team made for me. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what's going on. Uh, so let's see, we have a scenario here. Okay, it says cert multi-client operation scenario. And the scenario, you are part of a cybersecurity consultation or consulting firm that provides managed incident response services to high value clients. Currently your cyber incident response team your CERT is handling three concurrent investigations involving major security events. Each client is at a different stage of the incident response lifecycle. Your task is to review the details of each case, determine the current phase of response, classify the corresponding incident response step, and recommend the appropriate next action to continue effective remediation and recovery. Okay, so it looks like we're a cybersecurity company and we're managing three different events at once. Okay. Seems pretty plausible. Uh, let's go ahead and keep going. Let's go with the quiz. Okay, so here's the situation. And this is the entity and we're supposed to identify the current step, the following step and the step after that. Okay, all right, so private sector financial institution under your search protection reports several suspicious wire transfer requests appearing to originate from company executives. The messages reference real internal initiatives making them appear legitimate. Employees have unknowingly entered credentials into a counterfeit portal hosted on an external domain. The activity has been confirmed as an active intrusion. Your team must now determine the appropriate order of response actions to understand the scope, prevent further damage, and ensure the threat is fully removed. Identify the proper sequence of phases, incident response phases, according to NIST SP 800-61. Okay. Special publication. All right. So... I want to reread this and whenever you read these questions, you always want to internalize what they mean here. So it's a financial institution. They're targeting wire transfers and they want to, they're targeting company executives. So this is like some type of whaling attack, basically. And the messages reference real initiatives. So they have some knowledge of this ahead of time, which makes it more likely to be whaling because whaling has to be targeted. Employees have unknowingly entered credentials, okay, into an external domain. All right, so it's an act of intrusion. So the attack is ongoing, essentially. All right, so now we need to choose the step. Correct order of steps. Current step, following step, and next step. Okay, so we have a multiple choice question here. So we have to think of the steps of the instant response lifecycle. Uh, we have detection, we have containment, we have eradication, recovery, and then lessons learned. So this has been detected. So that means we're probably, we're currently in containment because it's classified as an active threat. It didn't say anything about us addressing this. So we would currently be in containment. We would then go to eradication and then to, um, Recovery, I think. Oh yeah, analysis is in there. Is analysis in there or is that a red herring? That might be a red herring. This this one makes sense. Containment, eradication, recovery. Okay, that's exactly what I just said. Analysis, containment, eradication. You wouldn't analyze it without first containing it. Uh, and then containment, recovery, and lessons learned. You would contain but you do need to get rid of it. Uh, so you can't just recover from containment. Detection, containment, recovery. This is missing a step here. So I think it has to be this one. All right, let's go to the next section. Okay, new scenario. CISA, uh, Cybersecurity Infrastructure and Security Agency, alerts a federal government agency to potential data exfiltration from an internal system. Okay, the security operations center isolates the affected host, which is hacker one, before any classified network access occurs. The team must now follow proper incident response to remove remaining threats and restore operations. Okay, I told my team I'd like them to step up these PBQs. This is pretty good, I have to admit. Determine the correct chronological sequence of actions per 800-61, okay. And even has, I, I told them, to make it wordier, like the CompTIA PBQs, and this is much more 
There's a lot more words there, many more words. <laughs> okay, so, all right, so we're doing the same thing. Current step, following step, and then the step after that. So, all right, let me think about this. One. So, C's has alerted a agency of a data exfiltration, and then the operations team at that agency isolates the affected host. So we've already contained the threat. Now we have to eradicate it, then we have to recover, and then we have to uh, do lessons learned, unless I'm missing analysis. I think analysis is a red herring, honestly. I don't think it's part of the steps. All right, eradication, recovery, lessons learned. That's what I just said, so that's that's uh, on the right track there. Detection, it's already been detected, we know that. Analysis, containment, eradication. It's already been contained, so we know that's not this. Containment, recovery, lessons learned. It's already been contained. So it has to be this one, I think. Remember, I, I jumped into this one blind. I wasn't expecting one on incident response, but it, these are pretty good so far. Okay. Cert multi client operations. Okay. A regional healthcare provider supported by your cert, which can be computer incident response team, cyber incident response team. There's lots of things the C can stand for, by the way. All right. Reports that several diagnostic imaging systems became unresponsive during morning operations, and displayed a ransom demand. Oh, great. Local IT quickly segmented the effective workstations from routine workflows, verified the patient care and record systems remained available, and began preserving system artifacts for review. Leadership now asks your team to determine the proper sequence of response activities that will fully remove the intrusion, restore normal service, and strengthen the organization's readiness. Yeah, that's... Hackers will target literally anybody they, to make a, make a buck. They don't care. They're heartless. All right, so select the correct chronological order ordering of instant response phases consistent with 800-61 for ransomware event impacting healthcare environment. Okay, so we have to look at this one. So what has already been happened? So the healthcare provider detected that these systems were unresponsive. They then contained them because they segmented them. Uh, then they were they were ready for fixing this because they haven't done anything to fix it so they've segmented the workstations and then they verified availability of other systems began preserving system artifacts for review but we haven't recovered we haven't eradicated uh, the ransomware, from what I could tell. Verified patient care and record systems remain available. Now, are the diagnostic image systems, are, are they the patient care systems? I think these are different, though. I think these would be different. So I think what we have to do is we'd have to now eradicate it and go from there. So I think we would start with eradication because it's been contained. Eradication, recovery, lessons learned. You wouldn't contain after analysis, or would you? I don't think so. Again, I think analysis is a red herring. Detection, containment, recovery. Containment, eradication, recovery. Hmm. We'll go with eradication, recovery, lessons learned. Because it's already been contained. Segmented the effective workstations. Means we've done containment. So if we've already done containment, we wouldn't do containment again. So anything with containment, we can eliminate. This is the only one without containment. Okay, next one. All right, multinational or private sector cloud service provider, uh, supported by your cert, observes irregular authentication activity across multiple client clusters. Telemetry shows privileged service tokens from an automated CI CD pipeline were used to push unapproved deployment manifest into production. 
Release pipelines are paused, suspicious images remain under review, and investigators are preserving repository and registry evidence. Leadership asks your team to determine the proper sequence of events or response activities, remove unauthorized artifacts, reestablish trusted builds, and return tenant workflows to verified operational states. Select the corresponding yeah, chronological order. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Private sector CSP, cloud service provider, observed irregular authentication activity. All right, so people were trying to log in that shouldn't have been able to log in. Um, privileged service tokens were used to push unapproved deployment manifests into production. So they've used some sort of token uh, passing hack to reuse a privileged token. Okay, so basically log in and then push a deployment manifest into production. Now, these are unapproved. Okay, so that means there's probably some sort of malware on them. The release pipelines are paused, suspicious images remain under review, and investigators are preserving the repository and registry evidence. Okay. Now, it doesn't say anything that we've, we haven't, solve this issue right I think we've just contained this release public place lines are paused I'm, it, I'm having a hard time getting through this it's very wordy which is good it's it's what these questions are like leadership master team to turn the proper sequence of response activities remove unauthorized artifacts reestablish trusted builds and return tent row pros okay so if we have to remove the unauthorized artifacts we haven't eradicated anything yet okay but it looks like We've contained it already, I think. All right, so let's see. Choose the correct order of steps. Analysis, containment, eradication. I mean, I think we've contained this. Suspicious images remain under review. So we've paused everything and we've, we're keeping the suspicious images under review. So it means we're not using them. So we still have to eradicate what we're doing. I think we would start with eradication. We've already detected this privileged service token. So I think we start with eradication. I think it'd be this one, Re eradication, recovery, lessons learned. We have already contained. This one's missing eradication, so it's just obviously wrong. Containment, eradication, recovery. It could be correct, but it says that we have We've paused the pipelines. So if we pause the pipelines, we contain the issue, essentially. Or have we? Let's see. Unapproved deployment manifests were pushed into production. Have we done anything to stop those deployment manifests? And just the vagueness of these words makes this a little difficult to determine, which is exactly like the CompTIA questions. So I think what we need to do, I still think it's eradication le recovery lessons learned, but it could be containment eradication recovery, depending on if we've stopped the deployments or not. I mean, it says right now, that pipelines are, are paused. So I think we've contained. Release pipelines are paused. So I think we've contained it. It's just tough to tell. So I think it's this one. Eradication recovery lessons learned. Okay. Another one. All right. Private logistics company supported by your cert reports a disruption in its freight tracking network. Real-time GPS feeds show incorrect correct container locations and several distribution centers receive fraudulent route updates that redirect shipments to unauthorized destinations. Jeez. All right, investigation, investigation traces the issue to a compromised third-party tele, telemetrics API, which allowed attackers to inject spoof data into the system. Okay, so hackers are just basically telling us that our containers are somewhere and they're not. The false routing commands has, have been stopped, but compromised API keys and corrupted records remain. Okay, so we, we've stopped it. 
but we haven't really the routing commands have been stopped we haven't eradicated it you you must order must determine the correct order of response actions i mean if we've stopped it i think we've contained it again and this is one of these instances where you'll see on a CompTIA PBQ, you may have to answer the same answer 10 times in a row on a PBQ. Don't be afraid to do that. I've seen PBQs where you have to literally answer the same thing 10 times in a row. And you might think, well, surely this time it has to be different. No, it doesn't. It, I think it's gonna, be, it's gonna be exactly the same. And on this one, I think it's gonna be exactly the same because it's been contained. Routing commands have been stopped. But now we have to fix it. So we've got to eradicate. So we've got to start with eradication. So I think it's eradication, recovery, and lessons learned. It's designed here to mess with your brain because we would think, okay, well, it has can't be this one. We just answered this one. Yes, you can. Okay. So Comp T exams can be one of those tests, like when you took them in high school. Everything is C. You're answering everything C, and that's the every answer would be c okay containment eradication recovery detection containment recovery analysis containment recovery we've already detected it i mean it could be i think we've contained it though because it says right here routing commands have been stopped so we've contained it but we just have to recover the correct the records yeah all right let's see how i did i could have gotten some of these wrong four out of five all right, let's see which ones I missed. Let's see. Oh, this one. Analysis containment eradication. Analysis is a step. Okay, let me see here. Analysis containment eradication. So we have to analyze it first. Please it unknowingly enter credentials in a counterfeit portal. Right, analysis happens before containment. You detect, you analyze, then you contain. So that's on me. All right, employees have unknowingly entered credentials in counterfeit portal hosted on an external domain. Confirmed as an act of intrusion. So we've confirmed as an act. Actually, this makes a lot of sense. This is exactly, I definitely got this wrong, and it should absolutely be analysis, containment, eradication. Because we've detected it, but we don't know much about it. We haven't contained it. I picked containment which doesn't account for analysis. We have to do analysis first. So the steps are you detect, you analyze, you contain, you eradicate, and then you do, uh, you detect, <laughs> you analyze, you contain, you uh, eradicate, then you recover, and then you do lessons learned. So I missed the analysis step, but this is right. And then we got the rest of these right. Eradication, recovery, lessons learned, Eradication recovery lessons learned. Eradication recovery lessons learned. My team's messing with me. <laughs> it's the same answer four times in a row, except for the first one. So, but again, this is accurate. This is just like the comp T exams are gonna be. So I think this is a really good PBQ. Again, you'll find this PBQ on cybercrafttraining.com along with all the other PBQs that we have uh, and the official comp T PBQs. When you sign up for our comp T security plus training, either our self-paced or our instructor-led classes. But I hope this was helpful for you guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching the video. Hope everybody has a great day. Take care.